Hey guys, hello. So, what we are going to do here is uh, um, uh, the versioning thing, uh, as I was explaining. So, here we go. I'm gonna create a fresh file right now. Uh, let me download some image. Uh, maybe what I'll do is this is the easy way for me. So, add it. Okay. This is. Yeah, so this is my file name. So my file name is, for example, sony.txt. Okay, it's a text document, which is a document folder. Just hit save. Okay, cool. Now, what we are going to do is, I'm going to uh, upload that file uh, here in my demo versioning. Um, folder. So I'm just sitting on upload. I mean bucket, add files, and uh, I'm going to documents, and I'm going to some media. So here we have which is 22 one root 24 seven. Just now we did it. So some TXT updated, and just sitting on it. Okay. Now some TXT is then if you click on it. Okay. Then if you hit on open uh, object URL. So you get the same. This is a beautiful control. Okay, cool, perfect. Now what you're gonna do here is understand this. I'm going to demo versioning class, this is sunny.txt. And since we enable this versioning here, if you perform properties here, so you can see like bucket versioning is enabled. Yeah, so click on objects. Then if you click on show versions, it will give you the different new column ID, which is version ID with some numbers. If you disable that, that version ID will not be coming. Okay, perfect. Now what you're going to do is say for example, I was working with some and I wanna, uh, I, I mean, I wanna add a few more lines. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, this is, this is the lines we have to add. Okay, so it's like this, I've added the second line. I've saved it, control S, saved it. Okay, and then I'm gonna close this file. Now, upload, so add files. And then let's look for Samir. Yeah, Samir is there. Okay, Samir.txt is adding. Now hit on upload. Now just hit on close. So Samir.txt is last modified. What was the last modified? 4, 9, 17 seconds. So right now 4, 9 is the time. So if you hit on this Samir.txt, click on object URL, you are getting the second line also. So now you have uploaded <coughs> two file. I mean two versions right now. But in the front end, it will just show you that you have only one file. Okay. Now if you hit on show versions, click on show versions. Now it will tell you two. At the back end, you have two versions. Okay. So this file, the first line, right? Okay. First line is a recent one. The second one, the bottom is the first one. So if you click on this sami.txt, click on it. Then if you hit on open, you'll get only one line. Okay, now if you go back, now if you click on the second, the topmost one, if you click on the object URL, you'll get two lights. So it's, it's it, this is how the versioning comes. But if you uncheck this box, the front end, it will just show you only one file name. But in the back end, you have version one and version two. Okay, say for example, if you want to add add one more version, what you can do is same thing. Okay, so I'm opening sami.txt and then so this is the <clears throat> this is the third line I'm adding for fun for fun and just an example one so I save saving it okay so now what do you do come here click on upload and then upload the same file sami.txt here done hit on upload so now if you hit on if you click on a uh, close so now if you click on show versions, you'll have three. So see this, this is the recent one which we did and previously this and previously this. And if you see the file size, each and everything it carries a file size. Okay, so just understand when you're enabling versioning for any bucket, if you have uh, one 5 GB of file, and if you keep adding uh, same version, obviously the file size will increase so rapidly. So just be careful with that, okay? And that, that occurs at cost because if you see AWS free tie up, just type AWS free tie up, enter. 
and then if you go here free computing uh, adb is free to have and then scroll down and there is something for uh, s3 okay let me search for s3 s3 and done yeah see this amazon s3 it's 5 gb of standard storage is free okay but i mean anyways just for your testing purpose we would not pause it but still uh, if you keep uploading many files with many lot of versions so it, it just calculates the total of everything here okay just remember that yeah that is the problem with the versioning uh, things uh, and then okay now we have three versions okay now say for example I don't want uh, okay mistakenly what happened here is um, somebody deleted this file so I'm just clicking on this okay the front end file I'm just clicking on this and just hitting delete okay so here just copy this control V and then hit delete objects okay now object is deleted that is what it shows in the front end right okay but since we have enabled the versioning we are getting this button we have to click on show versions now it will tell you see this is the first version this is the second version and this is the third version and this is the version which got deleted which means as soon as you click on delete button it will create this particular line the type will be delete marker line okay so this is the type where as soon as somebody clicked on delete we got this so delete marker now what you have to do as an admin okay in the front end it's nothing no files but in the back end if you click on this we have all the versions so what you have to do in order to get this the race recent file back to the front end okay in order to get the recent one back to the front end what you have to do you have to check the delete marker that action which happened check this and then click on delete okay now scroll down I mean uh, copy the permanent delete click on it and then delete objects okay now hit on close now see the permanent delete marker is gone now if I uncheck if I if I if I switch off the show versions you will have the file the same file semi.txt which is a recent one which is 103 bytes will be there just see this See this semi.txt is there which is 103 bytes and if you click on this if you click on open url see you have three lights okay so this is how the versioning will really help helpful to you so one more thing if you really want to uh, you know um uh, say for example if you really want to uh, uh, delete one particular version then you have to click on show versions and then if you want to delete a third or second or one or whatever just choose that and then delete it or if you want to delete all the things you have to click on delete click on delete and then just hit on permanently delete that's all so this is this is this is how uh, the versions happens okay but there is a there is one problem with the versioning things what is that okay so one problem with the version is uh, if I go back to properties of this bucket and then if you come here you cannot disable the version you can only suspend the version remember okay you cannot disable it you can only suspend it okay so what happens is this suspend the creation of object version for all operations but it preserves the previous existing version so for example for example uh, right now in this object we have how many versions we have I think we have three versions right if you click on show versions we have one and two uh, yeah so to total we have three versions okay so what I am going to do here is uh, I'm going to properties okay and then I'm going to click on edit and then I'm going to suspend the versioning and I'm going to acknowledge it and then save changes now I'm going to create a new file one more file called say for example uh, let me notepad and then here I'm gonna okay this is to check the suspend uh, you know suspend uh, version checking something like this okay so I'm just control s and this is zulfi.txt I'm just giving the zulfi.txt and just hitting save okay now so now what I'm going to do hit on upload now because I mean if you remember we have suspend the versioning if you click on properties so bucket version is suspended it will not be versionized so what I'm saying is click on upload and then click on add files and then look for zulfi.txt scroll down click on upload okay now it is uploaded hit on close so you have zulfi.txt 
okay now if you hit on show version see for zulfi.txt i'm getting null because i uploaded this particular file after i suspended the versioning okay this is what very important yeah so for this there is no versioning will be tracked yeah understood now this is the concept now if i go back to my one more bucket the previous bucket for example if i'm going back to the first bucket right see this if i go back to this first bucket and if i go back to properties and here if i go back uh, and enable the versioning then what happens so hit on save changes you will get that show version button right if you click on this if you click you know you'll get show versions if you hit on it see everything will be null 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 show version id is null null because when we created this, we never enabled versioning. When we uploaded these files, we never uh, enabled versioning. Okay. But if you do this, if you go and, uh, for example, I'm just uploading the same file, Samir here. If you click on this uh, upload and then if you hit on close, now Samir will have version ID. See this? Samir.txt is having version ID because we have enabled the version now. Yeah, guys, got it? Okay, perfect. Um, I think version is uh you know you have to be very 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 much sure about the de delete marker if somebody deleted uh, the front end then uh, the delete marker entry will come up as i've uh, shown you the video uh so say for example i'll show it to you again um so if i'm uh if i'm deleting this so now this will be permanently delete because we did not add any new version again with sami.txt so what i will do here is let me uh, open sami.txt okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna add some lines so for example this is great this is great so control s and then save it and then now uh, upload and then add files and then uh, Samir so uploaded yeah so Samir is uploaded now if you see enable the show versions here I got uh, this is version 1 and this is a version 2 which is the latest one which I have uploaded now if you disable the show versions in the front end you'll show only one file now if you click on this if you click on delete then it will say boss you're going to delete it if you hit on delete here delete objects and then click on close now if you see this in the front end samir.txt is deleted right but if you hit on show versions see samir.txt is coming up so there are two things are coming up so if you want to delete everything then but before that the demo is like this so if you want to uh, if you want to if you want to get the samir get this samir.txt which is a recent one into the front end because see if you if you click on this you do not have anything in the front end samir.txt is not there okay but if you want to get it back what will you do you will click this wherever you see delete parker click this and then click on delete you have to delete the delete marker only then the recent one will come up so if you don't delete objects then if you scroll up and then if you don't close then if you see uh, show versions if you do it sami.txt came up okay so that's all about uh versioning guys but only problem is the space space will be consumed uh for all the versions okay and you are built for all the versions that is very important and uh, the only way to reduce the cost is you have to <laughs> delete the bucket okay in case um if you really want if you're really focusing on the cost okay and the next one is uh, remember once you enable the um, versioning you cannot uh, disable it you can only suspend it okay remember so that's all guys thank you